state. As Kansas City, Missouri moves toward naming a new police chief, community leaders and advocates have called for transparency in the search. Yesterday, the public got their first and only chance to meet the three candidates. KNBC 9's Peyton Headley is here with what one group wants to see change in the selection process. Yeah, Emily, they want to see more community involvement. Now, at that forum, each candidate answered 10 questions that had been pre-submitted by the public. After that, community members had the chance to ask three questions. Activists say that's not enough. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse me. The town hall for the new KCPD police chief didn't go without disruptions. They don't actually care about the community. Amaya Cook and Dylan Pyle interrupted the forum along with their organization, Decarcerate KC. The group aims to raise awareness around issues of policing in Kansas City. Both say they want more community involvement in decisions like who will be leading the city's police department. We feel like this process is not actually community engagement, and we wanted to call that out and show them that they can't get away with it. We think that the people are actually left in the dark about what really goes on in the search of the police chief. And they aren't alone. Other community leaders have also said they want more opportunities to be able to understand the candidates and more time. It's the process I think needs to be worked on. Everything about it is is highly problematic. We wanted to show up and basically show that we're not going to let them continue to get away with these facades of public input. All of them looking for more transparency and the Board of Police Commissioners' choice for chief. You don't see it! You don't hear it! Both of them were escorted out of the meeting. Now, the Board of Police Commissioners will choose the next chief. We reached out to them about the calls for more transparency. We haven't heard back yet. Emily.